you ever buy a World of Warcraft Stein when they were on sale? Oh no, I didn't actually, but that would have been awesome actually. That's a pretty good idea instead of a mug. R, welcome to Captain Troy Hard. Battleground, R, let's fight a dice sentry. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not on the outside. Does this mean I get to do the Torrent Chieftain business? I do. Work, work. Boom. Let's do it. Let's go Torrent Chieftain. I'm going to forget the build already. I'm going to kind of make it up, but I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have built already. Yeah, but we were doing it a little bit step early. Let's see if I can be cheeky and ask for any gold or wood. i see if anyone falls into that trap. That'll cover me for basically building a little bit too early. Pink you prick. Sounds like a name after my own heart, that one. So, should be... War Mill, get that in the bag. Torrent Chieftain's going to be out a little bit early. <laughs> I'm going to keep asking for this gold. If they give me the gold, it would help out to get the barracks and another peon. Come on. Yes! Thank you. There you go, see? Boom. Ah! <laughs> Thank you very much, Nothing You Know, for subscribing. Twitch Prime, subscribe! Whoa! The Prime hype is real, and so is the Torrent Chieftain. He's on his way. Hopefully a headhunter can accompany him to actually do some creeping, because he's not going to do much else. He's certainly not going to go harassing anyone. That's not exactly what he does. At least not yet. Maybe later on, respect to some shockwave. Have some fun in that regard. I might be coughing from time to time, because towards this time of the year, for some reason, my throat starts to sort of tighten and get a little bit <laughs> swollen up. So I try to keep the coughing down to a minimum, but it is a nuisance, I must admit. It's what it does. It's what it does. I feel like I should build more peons. I've gone a bit light on that, but maybe I'll be covered later on. Who knows? We'll see what happens. How many have we got? We've got four, five, six. So I am basically a peon short, but I'd be curious to see whether I can get away with this. I like that Death Knight. Um, we've just... Now that I'm being stubborn, I don't even need to. That bar is going to finish. I feel like being stubborn, though, for some reason. I do try hard. I will try to some hard to some degree, but I just want to see what happens. Whether this is going to really affect me too much by not building the extra couple of peons or whether I get enough wood to actually get the tech. I feel like I definitely should, but now out of pure spite, I will hold on to it. And, uh, I forgot to say that. I was saying spite at the same time. That cat's face, what on earth y'all on about? Move the face cam over the minimap. So you can't get ghosted. I see what you mean about regarding the ghosting, but don't you guys want to see the minimap? I kind of I have to sort of accept the sniping to some degree. It sucks, but it's something I have to kind of accept. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise I feel like if I cut away too many features, such as the minimap and such, uh, it's gonna sort of ruin your experience a little bit as well. This is actually working out kind of okay. I've got enough uh, more headhunters, got the tech going. It's a little late, not super late. Uh, yeah, but otherwise still building the headhunters, have enough for a burrow in a second as well as continuing the whole headhunter shizzle. Thank you very much, hit the source, subscribing, appreciate that. It doesn't say anything regarding you, I don't get any information in the chat but about you, but I know that you've already been a subscriber, so I assume you're resubscribing. So thank you very much for continuing to do so. Yeah, I'll upload Captain Tryhard games, typically, unless I lose. No, I'm just joking. I do tend to upload regardless of whether I win or lose, but I can get particularly salty from time to time. It doesn't happen all that often. Almost never. never, Almost never get salty about anything. So the tech's going through, Burrow's going to be finished. You can actually start getting upgrades for headhunters at this stage once you hit 30 food. It's not going to dampen you too much. See if we can kill these poison ones. They're going to spread all their poison anyway, so it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference, but whatever. 
This is the precarious bit where my torrent shooter gets super low on health and could be picked off. And I'll be super sad if that happens. He'll creep this fine, but whether someone else just picks him off or not, I don't know. That's a lot of sentry wards. That's a lot of information for the next 10 minutes. Let's go put out some sentry wards. I won't quite do that creep camp yet, but it is very tempting. Sufficient healing is sufficient. And I've got their attention now. That's actually worked super well. Look at that. I didn't even pull the priest. So do that again, I think. Tech up again immediately. Probably get the troll regeneration whilst I'm at it. Could be beneficial. Then move in there for the kill. I'm the big dude. Oh, those items. That's a lot of tor um, headhunters now. So we kind of want to... When I get enough wood, move on to a beastie area. I don't know if I can quite get the shaman, the casters. I'll try to fit them in if I can, but to be honest, I think headhunters and beastie area is going to take up the majority of my uh, resources. So now, my torrent chief and healthily healed up. We can easily move on to this middle point over here. Ally, ally, lots of grunts, lots of tier one. Pull this stuff back. Keep getting headhunters, I guess. Now, you've got to be real quick with this. Endurance or I'll help, because the frost is a biatch. So get ready for this. Look at that, so quick. Alright, we'll do another pullback. Oh, he's just moving straight in there, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Hood of Cunning, why not? Agility and Intelligence, I'll give that to the Archmage. Not particularly amazing for either of us. Headhunter's looking a bit sore for himself. Still getting the bloody headhunters. Almost tempted to get another upgrade, but I can't quite manage it yet. Who's under attack? Okay, on the way. What care for this guy? By the way, purple. Let's come over to help him out. Certainly got enough units to help out. Okay, let's get Kodo. Not quite yet on any other upgrades. It's not a bad idea if we could get... Some... Ah, never mind. I was considering scrolls and stuff like that, but we can't go and creep that. We'll take the damage, so in we go. Flank from the spank. Ah. And the headhunters are going to do lots of nice damage on the side lines. Just try to keep the headhunters back, and they'll be doing beautiful. Also, is that tech complete soon? Because it's berserker time soon. Oh, the grunts are starting to escape on that side. Oh man, that's a lot of experience. Alright, Berserker time to upgrade. Kodo, get your ass to Mars. No upgrade for Kodos. Hmm. I don't even need the healing cell because I lost one of mine. I get the speed scroll though. I like speed scrolls. you still got a healing cell to enjoy. Alright then. So basically move back into the middle, creep up to level 5, or just go and punish them. I think we could potentially punish them. I like to get level 5, because I've almost got full mana, so that would be, like, awesome. Going to get myself Kodo upgrade. Berserkers are soon mine. In fact, let's just... Oh, it's so tempted to get into the fight, but it's also so tempted to guarantee the level 5. Looks like we're going to guarantee a level 5, courtesy of Purple's aggression. Versus creeps. That's interesting. It's looking good. Level 5? No, nowhere near it, because everyone else's heroes here. Look at that. Kodo's here to play. Looking good on resources now. But I'm still going to stay underneath the 50 food. Because I'm greedy like that. Legion Doomhorn, that's an amazing item. That's good for any of us, really. Since we're all here, let's just go up to the top now. I'm not going to get level four, 5 anytime soon. I need to kill something significant, like enemy players. I'll probably get another Kodo Beast to fit it up and make sure I've got enough Kodo Beast on the field. You only really need one. And speaking of which, Pinky Crit. 
Give me some more experience. Thank you. Lovely. As soon as they town portal in, Toran Chieftain's got some uhs in store. Who's Tor? Oh, okay, some headhunters. That's not going to do you much good versus this one. Look at the food count, man. I need to start stepping this up a notch. Who's going to teleport in? Who's next? Oh, we're getting flanked from underneath. Oh, it's over here. Oh, here we go. Berserk time. Let's do some damage. Wherever they want to go, the Torrent Chieftain says no. Pull these units back. Loving it, Kodo. You can eat something if you want to. It's not that important, but I'll let you do it. Get in there, son. Uh, who's this at the back? This pink, you prick. <laughs> I think this was a little one-sided, this game. I'm still at the 50 food mark. I've got loads of resources. I don't really feel like going over, because I don't need to. I've got all my units still, and Torrent Chieftains are being a badass. I'm going to send in all my units now. Let's get in there. Let's just nuke down that Archmage. Oh, he's on my team. <laughs> I thought for a moment he was on the enemy team. I was getting excited. I couldn't wait to bring that guy down. He's been pestering me for ages on my own team. It looks like he got a little bit abandoned. Who's fast tech to Frostworms or Shims? Who is that? Look at this. Basically another barracks and another spirit lounge. 30, 37 gold. Do you see that? Just for a moment, just for a glimpse, it was there. Yep. I, again, I can build units, but there's something OCD about me where I can't bear to do it because I'm not getting value from it. Although at this stage, you kind of are because there's no, there's no root. The you're just guaranteeing a win by spending a ton. You can have a hundred wood. I can't give you much more than that. Torrent Chieftain seem to be level five, rather level six. So let's move it up, step it up a notch. Oh, what happened to my barracks? I thought I built a second barracks. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Let's get on the top side. See what the angle's like over here. We don't want no towers. Whoa, that's some Kodo value right there. Yep, that healing wave ain't going to be enough. Well, that was a strong first game, that's for sure. The team on your side seemed like they might have been slacking in some regards. Look at that, hitting the 2k mark. My typical 4 versus 4 greed does start to slip in again. It is Captain Tryhard. I'll try to a certain point, but I also get complacent. I can't bear to spend the gold. I've got to save it for my four frostworm, uh, four boneyards that are waiting to spawn frostworms all at the same time. 385 gold times four. Let's do the math. It's 20 gold, 160, 320. So that's 340 gold. 1200 on 340 gold. 1540 gold. So 2k gold. Covers your frost worms and an extra town portal so you can get out once you lose them all. Okay, beautiful. Let's move on to the next game. Belt of Strength of Giants. It's pretty good. Captain Tryhard's got his favorite color, green. And his battleground again. We've got a couple of undead on our team, so we probably win this one as well. Oh, okay. I can't go the same thing I did last time. Again, I just don't... I don't typically do that. I can't really bring myself to keep doing the same thing. Although I love the Torrent Chieftain, don't get me wrong. I freaking love him. I can't I can't do it. It's not right. It's wrong. I feel bad. I feel dirty. Mass Rush. Creep to second level and go. Mass Fiends and Death Knight and Green Grunts, please. Okay. I'll ask him a fight or question in a second. Did we get free undead? This guy's not doing much though, to be fair. But free undead. Even if he does nothing, he's still probably more imbalanced than any other race actually building something. Because he's undead. Do you get it? 
Shadow Hunter HH is really good for this map. I didn't consider Shadow Hunter first. Lol, noob. Okay. Alter, Blade Master, I suppose. And then we can maybe tech up and get an early ish Shadow Hunter second hero to help support and build him up. Keep healing everyone. People aren't really building for fiends, though. <coughs> this guy is now. This looks like a cozy little base. A couple of towers here and here would keep Shavagan happy. But that doesn't mean I'm going to build them. Because that would be a waste of resources, am I right? Better things to spend my resources on productive stuff rather than towers sitting on my base not doing anything. You don't get to rank 1 building mass towers in your base, I'm telling you that. I want you to build a freaking foodie lounge. Build it over here. Give us some space. Let the enemy come all the way over to it if they have to get to it. Let them work for it. Do not put it all the way out there in the front. We can't give them that. Alright, where do you want to go, Blade Master? It does say creep to level 2, but it doesn't say I can't creep the enemy's territory. Thank you, Ite, for the host. Oh. Oh, it's a Mountain King. Excellent choice. Our allied town is being attacked. I am creeping. This is me creeping. I'm too aggressive. Oh, he just about finished it off. See? I'm creeping. He's going to storm bolt, or he's be tempted to. Creep. Now I'm creeping the Mountain King. Storm bolt. Not yet. Yes, Lord. I am yours. Excellent choice. Are you hero and obey? Oh. Let's creep the human. Are you hero and obey? For the burning blade. Oh, he's got a tower coming. Yes, Lord. Good task is there, Master. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> he's getting ready. Got to stop the towers. Mountain King, where you going, boy? Where you going? Where's it going to be? This guy's getting some pressure. Oh, the Blade Master just... Aut I didn't even tell him to do that. He just automatically detected where he was going to go. Uh, loads of creeping. Loads of last hits here. Shame I don't get gold for it. Dota star. Okay, we've got enemy undead. Watch out for the enemy coils of the Death Knights. Yep, there they are. How much more mana? Oh, I didn't see the Blade Master coming, though. To be fair, you can't. He's invisible, but that was good. Is he upset because my Blade Master got took out by a fucking invisible character that I couldn't have possibly known was there? Is that why he's upset? <laughs> Yes! He's there Master. deliberately to scout. Yes, Master. <laughs> what do you want? Yes. Master. What do you want? Double. Small move. Double. I want boost the speed now. Double. Oh, you can feed on a human player so easily with fiends and stuff like that. As long as we got just a bit of an... So, oh, here we go. Good. Grunts just do a good job here. Extra pressure. Not easy for this guy to sort of like have any presence. Getting my boots to speed. I'm getting my boots to speed and I'm getting some awesome stuff as well with tier 2. So I'm not going too heavy on the grunts. 
Should want to get that headhunter, and the headhunter can come out and heal up the grunts that I've sent back to base. Mountain King is out for the count. He's not in a great position, so if you want to pop him to him, that would be good. Got a storm bolt in sight. Speed grunts. I don't think that grunt's going to make it back there. Alright, easy, Tiger. <laughs> A skill auto crit. I might go Witch Doctors this time. Gotta be so careful of these creeps being aggro bitches. So I'm probably gonna rally my buildings here and then to my hero and hope that that doesn't backfire late in the game when I forget about it. Blade Master's going to need invincibility potion soon because he's going to go down in health quite quickly. Let's put a heal on him and let him chill out for a moment and I'll also put a heal on the Death Knight. But we've got to sit back. Oh, he just missed... Oh, my heal got interrupted, never mind. What can you do, eh? Send him back in, then. That's what you can do. You want to keep putting pressure on me, then fine. Let's do this, mate. Oh, this guy again. Well, lucky the storm bolt went in the grunt there. Oh, can't chase that too hard. Someone's teleporting him. Who's it going to be? Oh, watch out. Oh, there it is. Undead skill. I thought I could make it. <laughs> this guy's built like nothing but towers because of the amount of pressure he keeps getting. But now the Orb of Huam is out, it's pretty much GG. Gotta be careful of the other Orb of Huam as well from that undead. Watch out for his Orb of Huam. See that shit? You see that shit? Yeah, you see that shit. Orb of Huam, that shit. Direct my blade. 
Where's my radar? He's taking ages to join in the fight here. Premature, <laughs> it could kill him anyway. This guy is awkward to work with, to say the least. Let's get some demolishes up in here so we can pressure on that human a bit more. I ain't got a heal yet. There we go. Got loads of wood. That should be going towards steel armor upgrades. And to other people. That's so many towers. <laughs> Why are we attacking this base now? There's so many bloody towers. He's obviously just going to exploit a little bit when he can. You can't go two balls to the walls inside of there. I suppose you can, but we're going to set ourselves up for a bit of a ganking from the whole enemy team in a moment. There we go. They're going to start to flow in now in a second. I've got no more heal, so be ready for this. Almost got the death knight. Nice. I ain't got a TP. Because I never have a TP. I'm just going to run as much as I can. Because I sold my TP. Told you, they'd all just flow in. It's, it's inevitable, isn't it? When you put yourself into that position, they will just all flow in. They'll take the advantage, because they'll say, hang on a second, those two are trapped inside of that base. I understand the point of getting in there to try to get out of the towers, but it doesn't really. We had a good-ish position. You two up the top, though, you should have a massive advantage, though, from that, let's face it. I need to almost lose these peons or get a spirit walker and just bring the peons into the battle. This would be a strange game to lose. I don't feel like we should lose this one, but I wouldn't be surprised overall if we did. Excellent choice. 
I want to get so much. I'm not really able to create that. I didn't even know I had a demolisher all the way all the way back here. How the hell did he stay alive? I don't even know how he did that. Oh well, he's dead now. Okay, we've got a massive attack coming here. We are enemies what trouble hiding. It is I am yours. Our allied town is being attacked and obeyed. Use yes, my Lord. power. I am yours. Word yes, Someone call me an officer. Yes, Lord. Your man. Direct my power. I am yours. I hear the yes, Lord. Word task you. Got a really good position though, to be fair, in this one. It's a kind of a case of auto attacking for the win here. Yeah, it's going really well. I've lost like, almost nothing right now. Blade Master's going to be getting a lot of experience. He's kind of undercover. Always get that invulnerability potion if you can. Because then, because what you do is you send your Blade Master in to wind warp past all your units that are all obviously massively blocked. And then they start to focus him at first. So then, as soon as you see your health, his health start to drop. Okay, he's going to start to drop again in a second, so you've got to be careful. Because I don't have another invulnerability potion past this point. But as soon as it ta you ta uh, get focused, you take the invulnerability potion. Let me just give him all the Huam, just for the imbalance. I'm going to boost us out of here. But yeah, you get the Orb of Huam. That's not exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah, no, as soon as your Blade Master starts getting focused, then you take your Health Potion. Uh, invulnerability Potion. I will get there eventually. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, I can't attack him anymore. And typically most people forget to stay on him. So he can get away with doing lots of damage, even though he's technically right in, in their face. Again, this is a base we don't really need to attack. It's kind of an awesome orc army I've got going on here. Never attack an undead base. Excellent choice. Is he only spirit linking those peons only? Because that's not much use to me. Orb of Huam. Focus on the priestess of the pitch. Pitch and bitch. Who's this? Who's this cheeky chap behind us? Level 6 Blade Master. Oh, 
Might start getting some Wivens actually for some extra DPS. Pack a bit of a punch. Who's left? One guy? Mr. Draw. Mr. Purple. Mr. Out. Well, there it damn well is. <laughs> 90 kills. 54 unit kills. All thanks to Blue. Yeah, sometimes I play when I'm not streaming, but most of the time when I'm streaming. Death now. What is it? What is it? Righto. Righto. <laughs> I did a rather sort of more exhausted version. A peon or a peasant after a hard day at work. Ready to work. Yeah, you are. You'll be working a lot, mate. Don't you worry about that. Get you to work. Yes, me lord. That's right. Yes, me lord. <laughs> they are, are perfectly answering me right now. Ready to work. Am I the best? Work. No. Yes, me lord. That's the one. I almost got it. Who's the best Twitch streamer in the world? Is it me? What? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, I don't win that one. Headhunters. Yes, me lord. What is it? What? Ready to work. Or work? My job done. I feel like a bit more standard at the moment to start off with. I want to get an expansion. To lead into sort of stupid things to do. Archmage, footman, and then try to get mercs when I can. Because I've got access to them. So I need to build up a decent chunk of peasantry. Job decent done. chunk of peasantry. I don't feel like I'm going to need a tower on this map. I'd be surprised if anyone comes super aggressive. Like, the most you might expect is a blade master trying to steal your orange creek camps. As long as I keep an eye on that. Or even send the footman out just to do a little cheeky scout. That's one way to go about it. Bodzio. You started editing Maelstrom Pass. Pass on that. It got played. It got done. It got removed. We're done. It's ridiculous. Oh, look. Someone's out. GG. Automatic win. I'm not even going to use any of my peasants right now. I'm just going to keep them on lumber for now. And see if I can creep this with just the Archmage. The solo Archmage. Can't do it too early because of Mr. Purge. It looks like I am playing at death now, yes. In comes the purge. Say no to purge. Hey, no to purge. Water elements, which you can do some tanking now. Plenty of wood now. Ah, oh, Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt. Welcome to Free For All. A game where everyone's a fucking Thank you for the donation. Gotta be polite. <laughs> you know what, it's a better quote. And a genuine quote from an actual film. It's from Richard Pryor. In um, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Where it's Richard Pryor and um, the, the original Willy Wonka. I can't remember. He, 
J oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head whilst I'm doing this right now. I've gone blank on it, but there's a moment in the train where Richard Pryor finds out that he's black and he never knew it. And he goes, you mean I'm black? He's spent like, he's the blind guy. He spent his whole life thinking he was white up until that point. I just think that's freaking brilliant. Go watch that film if you haven't seen it. Very good. Very old, but very good. These footmen are having a rough time. Let's see if I can get some mercs. Send footmen in. See if I can avoid the purge. Please don't get purged. Ah, there's a little bit of purging going on. But that's okay. Just get me anything. Hey, that'll do. More or less just about survive. These poor footmen. That'll do. They can head back. Gold mine is mine. Got more than enough wood to just straight up tech. Got more than enough wood for peasants. Poison in Warcraft 3 is an absolute pain in the butt. Yes. Totally agree with that. There's no doubt about it. Clarity is always good for Archmage. Water elementals are just ridiculous. So if you can increase the amount of water, mental, uh, water elementals you can get, then that's always a win, pretty much. Alright, let's get a tech going. I've just spent a whole bunch of gold on goodies for my units. And I'd like to get over here, really. Even though we could obviously create this. Shredder. Big... Well, I don't really need it with this many peasants, but it's hard to say no. If not, Orange might be able to use it. Purge time. Yeah, he can soak up a couple of purges, though. He's pretty bad. Badass. I'd like to give this guy another heal. Don't really want to keep blowing through my uh, healing cells, but I might do it. It will benefit everyone, so let's do that. If you're not getting a shredder, I will. Even when I've got that many peasants, I will still get a shredder. Because they're that damn good. Alright. No expansion. No expansion. Let's get some mercs. Perfect. The mercs are out. Soon to be Aura. We've got a huge army. Bear in mind they're down one player. Never attack an undead base. So it's either a case of go to their expansion, which is a possibility, or just go straight for the base. Probably better to go for the expansion, actually. If there is one. Thinking about it. And then go for the base. Half my army is mercs. They're so good, though. Hey, there is an expansion. Well, these guys are screwed, aren't they? This is just... I think this is game over, to be honest. <laughs> it's a lot of headhunters. The aura. Extra damage. Plus three damage. It's Kodo, basically. Yeah, this is just unfair for the enemy team. I feel a bit bad for them. Hello there. I'll just go straight towards Griffins or something. Or proxy workshop. Hey, now we're talking. Archmage might get some focus here. Can you let me out? Otherwise, I'm going to have to teleport early. Yeah, this is GG. Look at that Archmage focus. Whilst everything else gets killed. Get away from the Storm Bolts. This poor guy's had to control him. I'm going to aggro those creeps because I think they might 
potentially at least put a barrier between me and them. No, you don't need no acting. You do not need that. No, you can't ensnare heroes as much as you want to. This guy probably doesn't need to. He's got 405 mana worth of coils, but doesn't want to use them. This is just totally unfair, this game. <laughs> it's totally unfair. I call it like I see it. What the hell? Where are you, what are you doing? Now... I'm building those workshops there because they can build tanks that can go here, here, and they can also go here, here. So it's a basically a closer way for me to sort of see the enemy bases. Because you can sort of see the way this game is going. And if I build them all the way over here, it'd take ages for them to get to locations. Next time on Death Nail. More undead imbalance. You thought you saw it all. Just wait till you cop a load of this. I'm just pinging out the top scores today. Really? 32,000? That's bonkers. Full scale assault. With a fire sailor. Double human versus double undead. Oh no. But one of those undeads is Oreo on the enemy team. What is it? So that's good. That means we win. I can pick him. Yes, me lord. Pick on him I shall. Yes, me lord. Yes, my lord. Let's pick on him. Let's give him a hard time. Okay, so I feel like going for a bit of hero nuke this game with some safety net riflemen to sort of back me up versus anti-air. Because if I go footman, then I'm going to be really screwed if I'm going mountain king. I want to focus on like mountain king, blood mage. Oh, they got two undead actually, so yeah, it will really work out quite nicely. Mountain king, blood mage. Yeah, pick on the more stream sniper. And um, of course, uh, the paladin if I can fit him in. It's my third hero. That'd be nice. Because the Mountain King, he can creep stuff like this solo and then just go soak up that. It's not like the most... He's actually technically very efficient. It's not going to speed level him or anything like that. But that allows me to sort of slowly build up to rifle and get enough peasants for wood for an expansion as well. And he's still doing something at the same time. Because this is always the pain when you're going for like a rifleman build. Is it really slows you down a lot because it's pretty wood intensive. Like now... I would look into, say, for example, Blacksmith, Mountain King, and then the next peasant to come out would probably get me a barracks once these guys are done. So that guy needs to hurry up and then I can get a barracks. And then it's back on to, say, a farm. And it's all costing wood, 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 wood. So here we go. Here's your lumber. Hope you're happy. Then the next guy can come out, build a farm, 20 woods. And then the, there you go. That's kind of like your somewhat setup build for riflemen. Whilst at the same time you're getting enough peasants that it brings you in enough wood for the expansion. But you see the Mountain King's halfway through to coming out. And your barracks isn't even close to being finished. So how do you go and creep with him? Do you take your peasants off the wood, turn them into militia? Well no, because then you're not getting wood for an expansion. So rifleman build really shoots you in the foot a lot of the time. So you just... Fortunately for this map I have the advantage of these creeps. I might take like one militia with me. To do a little bit of initial tanking so the Mountain King can actually finish the creep camp. And then we go into Rifleman after that point. See, the militia is just a nice little bit of extra additional damage, but you don't lose too much wood, because I'll need that for the expansion. And the Mountain King takes a lot of damage himself. Could go soak up the Hell Fountain, but I think I might go greedy and go for the expansion. I'm probably going to go greedy and go for the expansion, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm going to go greedy, because you've got the opportunity to heal if you want to. Oh, thank you very much there, Raw Mallory, for subscribing with the Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime hype, Blademaster, says no. 
I ain't taking no bloody expansion now, thanks. Oh, joy of joys. Okay, well, it's a case of basically going, getting, losing a couple of my peasants in my base now. That's Oreo, isn't it? Yep. That's probably Oreo coming to stream tonight. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run around here and you're going to kill nothing. Do, do, do. No expansion for me. Oh shit, that was a good move. Yeah, I can't do much about that. But, it's not the end of the world. You might think it might be, but it isn't. Because I get a fresh level 1 Mountain King with full health within a matter of seconds. So, you didn't even get the experience for that. So that kind of works in my advantage. So a lot of people might go, oh no, it's game over. But, at the same time, what was I doing with that Mountain King anyway? Not much. And I'm going to get him back in a moment with full health, so... Eh. There's worse things that can happen. Arcane Tower, soon to be up. Okay. Well, now that you've been screwing me over with that, this guy has taken my bloody expansion spot. So I'm going to have to take another one now. Thanks for that. Two hundred mana, hundred and twenty five mana. He's bought the boots of speed. I detect mass bats then. So lots, lots, and lots, 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 and lots, and lots, and lots, and lots more anti-air from me. Replenishment potion is very nice here. Might go pick up some more dust now that I'm thinking about it. So green's got an expansion, purple's got an expansion, red hasn't got one, but maybe someday. The nice thing is, is that those expansions do set us up. So if the enemy haven't invested in the expansions, then we'll basically win. Because a lot of the time, four versus four RT, economy beats micro and stuff like that. Just a larger army. It's just key, generally speaking. It is. It's power. Unlimited power. Got a decent chunk of peasants. Could get that shredder, but it's gone now. So someone else will get it. Probably just aim for the tech. And I'll do a little bit of poking. See if they have gone for an expansion. Hey, how's it going, Cena? What you up to? Skill! He's got one death coil. One death coil. What will he do with it? Will he use it? Yes, he did. Will I use my Stormbolt because I can't surround? Yes, I will. Boots of speed, boots of speed, boots of speed, but the boots of speed. Give him the boots of speed. And in 
vulnerability. Alright, we're in dangerous territories right now. Asking for trouble, basically, being this far out of home. In uncomfortable waters. Asking for big trouble. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am coming through. Watch out. This will either go really well or really badly. Luckily, that guy's already distracting. Ah, he noticed! He bloody noticed! You cheeky sod! And your fiends just went right through. That's annoying for me. Take that for us around, you filthy bugger. Okay, that guy's getting out. The guy with the shredder's probably got a fair bit of wood to trade, I imagine. Hmm, the undead have got some filthy expansions. Kind of hoping to get Sif and Mana. There we go. Just take all of his mana and then give some to the Mount King or keep it for myself. I'll hold on to it for now. This is take two now. I want to see if Blue's still paying attention. night time as well, so he's less likely to be on the ball. Probably time to town portal. Kill these. Town portal out. Kill what you can. Watch out. Dead. So dead. That was unfortunate because I had two on me there. If I only had the one, that wouldn't have been so bad. I could have taken that hit. No, no one's actually got that much wood, surprisingly enough. I'll have to definitely get that shredder then. Uh-oh. 
I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not in that concerned for gold. I could afford to lose some, if need be, because I'm saving up for a special something. Just a little, little, little something. <coughs> Thank you for keeping his attention, though. Say goodbye to those towers. Although he's getting some good hits with that. That's so dead, those towers. Say goodbye. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I love you. Hello there, Jaco. Jaco. How long am I streaming for? As long as it takes. Probably a few more hours, I imagine. So many potions, so little time. I sure hope that all. Oh. This ain't a good fight for me. So I'm gonna have to town portal out anyway. Not gonna do much versus Undead Imbalance. Undead Imbalance always wins. Hi. We can't let them keep getting away with killing everything. Oh, 
I'm sending the gyros off now. The gyros are literally just going straight to their expansions. Oh my goodness, he just lost tons of units there. I just spotted that blue just lost a whole ton there. Sending this guy off. Their bats and that are coming in too late. Now this is the humans coming in here. Plenty more gy I got gyros over here and I got gyros all the way over here doing whatever they need to do. And I still got a couple of riflemen left. <laughs> Ah, oh, those undead fiends. I don't like the look of those. Now you want to spread your gyros over the bestiaries so when the bats do come out... If they do hit, they won't hit too much. As much as it can be. Right, these guys still need something to do with their lives, but I don't know what Orange is doing with his fiends, so I can't quite send those in. Otherwise, they just get picked off very easily. Ah, Orange's fiends are over here. They came from behind. Yeah, I see. Dem gyros. Ah, gotta continue my battle over here. getting blown up. I really need to re-hotkey all of these gyrocopters because this has got out of hand now. Wait till you see me 
You know I've got to do it, right? He didn't say it. Fine, I'll say it then. For Cosmodon! Why didn't he say it? I feel a little bit ripped off there. It's like I must have issued another command just as I did it and it cancelled it out. Okay. Well, thank you again, topping that board. What can you do? I'm just too good. Fire Sailor bows down before me. Admitting that he is pure scum in comparison to me at the top of the board with an extra hundred or so points. Okay, Dyke. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. That is the Cat and Try Hard series. If you enjoy it, then make sure to fee. I can't get a word out of fee. I was supposed to say leave, but I somehow said feed. Leave a like. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. Take care. I'll see you later.